Hi everyone, this is Colin, also known as Quantum Aberrant, and I'm here to show you some of the new blocks that are in Aberrant Tools version 0.8, which is my mod for Minecraft. Anyway, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build a new kind of pressure plate. Go over here to my crafting table, and I'm going to put two pressure plates on top of each other, and that's going to build a safety pressure plate. Now, what's safe about it? Well, what's safe about it is that I can't trigger this. I can walk over it as much as I want, and as the player, I cannot trigger the pressure plate. Now, if I had some sheep around, they can, pre they can press the pressure plate all they want. Except it looks like they don't want to now. Stop staring at me. There we go. As long as they step on it, the pressure plate extends. Now this is great for building traps. We can use some of the other blocks that are in aberrant tools, like the lightning block or the fire block. And I have an example of that over here. We have these lightning blocks, and they're surrounded by safety plates, and I am not, in fact, electrocuting myself. Yay! Let's see, let's throw a couple enemies down. Oops, I'm in peaceful mode. You run. So that works pretty well. They step on the trap, lightning comes down from the sky, and they die. Let's do that one more time. Of course it works better when you're not placing them yourself, but you get the idea. So we have one more block that's new in 0 0.8. We'll go back over to my sheep infested area and use the crafting table. We can put three dirt down. and three sand, and we get a tower block. Now it's important to find a nice hole to stick your tower block in, so it knows where to build from. So we'll put that right there, drop a little redstone, and the switch. And when I flip the switch, tower! It just built a cobblestone tower around us. I flip the switch, it goes away. Tower? No tower. Tower? No tower. We have configuration for this stuff. If we hold down tab and right click, we can say build ceiling. We can say make it shorter. Or, I guess I changed the length, didn't I? Yeah, look at that, I changed the length. Well, you can change the length and the height. Let's turn it off first, then make some changes. We make a smaller tower. We can in fact change the block type, so I've got some glowstone here. I'll make it out of glowstone. Make it big again, and we have different shapes. We can use a diamond, or a pentagon, Let's make a 10 by 10 pentagon out of glowstone. Clink. There we go. You'll notice there are some holes in the ceiling. I'm still working on the polygon contraction algorithm that fills in the, the top. I think this is aliasing, which means it might or it might not be easy to fix. But anyways, it's still significantly better than 
having to build the entire tower yourself. Now, if, if you like this tower where it is, you can just break this block and the tower will stay there. Otherwise, if you turn the power off, it goes away. And we can, of course, make these really big. We'll start at 25 by 25, and we can go just about as big as you can possibly want. But, I warn you, the bigger you make it, the more likely you are to get lag. Actually, I'm going to keep the width low to show you the oblong. Yeah, see, we had a, li we had a little lag there. But this is, well, it's ginormous. It's just ridiculously huge. Now you notice this follows the rules of uh, the tower builder item, in which case it does not replace blocks, it only fills in areas. So as you can see we didn't destroy our little repeater here or any of this redstone that happened to be there. Um, one exception is snow. I hate snow. Snow is getting replaced pretty much every time. Yeah, there's a little lag. But there's a huge amount of blocks. You probably don't want... What do we have? 50 by 50 by 24? That's why the max goes to 25 by 25 by 25. Yeah, you should probably have no problem with lag. Let's see a really slow system. So we've got hexagon, heptagon... What's a heptagon? Go look it up. Uh, octagon, decagon, dodecagon, and then circle. And of course, it's really not a circle because this is Minecraft, and there's no real circles in Minecraft. But it's about as close as I can get. Once again, we're oblong, and so we've got more of an oval shape than a circle shape. And once again, it's too huge. as it deletes all of those. There we go. Uh, but certainly more sensible sizes just kind of appear and disappear. No problem. You can even, uh, let's see, we even, oh, we even have triangle. It's a triangle. It's a happy little triangle. Anyway, so that's it. Those are the two new blocks uh, available in Aberrant Tools version 0.8. Uh, I hope you have fun with this. Uh, please download WebMod and play it. And enjoy. Bye.